Well, friends, I am back again today, and I am bringing you. I've got some, got some chicken thighs here in front of me. We are gonna do four large family meals on a budget. These are healthy meals and hearty meals. Thank you to Nexium 24 Hour for sponsoring today's video. More to come on Doctor's number one choice to manage their own frequent heartburn. You can shop Nexium 24 Hour now by clicking the first link in my description. If you're not feeding 11 people tonight at dinner, well then guess what? You'll actually get some leftovers. We're doing four different chicken dinners in the slow cooker. I'm just gonna get the first one rolling and keep on rolling through them and show you everything you need to make each one. We're doing slow cooker chicken and dumplings. We're gonna do a slow cooker chicken spaghetti. We're doing a slow cooker white chicken chili. And we're also doing, now we're starting with the last one. We're doing a slow cooker lemon sesame chicken and rice soup. I'm actually gonna use wild rice because Travis requested wild rice for Christmas uh, with one of our meals and I have two bags of it left. So that's the kind of rice we're using in that soup. We're gonna start with that soup. I'm gonna cut my vegetables here. We'll get that going. Because life and schedules did not work out for me to film these uh, one recipe a night as I'm feeding my family, just how it goes, folks. But we do have two different families in our local community who need meals dropped off to them. So two of these meals are going out to other families. And then two of these meals, my family will be having a buffet style dinners for a few days to come, eating up the leftovers and enjoying those last two meals. So don't worry when I film like this, everything still gets used and eaten. It's just not, you know, like how you'd want to do it in the real world. You make dinner every night. Well, in Jim Rell's YouTube world, Things don't go that way, ha ha. So anyway, I mean, I guess I could have tried to clean my kitchen <laughs> and done my dishes different ways and change my outfits and make it look like, oh, I'm doing these dinners four different nights, but that's even harder to keep up with. So I'm gonna chop up uh, the celery and the carrots and get our other ingredients going for this soup. Gonna spray my slow cooker. And then this is a pack of chicken thighs. I, was, I believe it was about three pounds. Doesn't look like that though. Let me look back at my label and see. No, no, I want to know. No, it was one and a quarter pounds. It was three dollars and thirty-nine cents per pound. So anyway, a little pack of chicken thighs going in. And put in our other ingredients so we've got the chopped celery that's going in there and then the carrot
basically everything is going in and I'll have this recipe linked for you down below everything's going in except for the wild rice I will cook the rice separate and we'll add that in towards the end okay so I'm gonna add in my salt I'll just go ahead and add in pepper because I got it out oh boy Tobin <laughs> you've had a friend <laughs> Oh, We've had a friend. Ah. Hi. Now don't let me forget. I need to chop up an onion too. Okay. I'm doing two teaspoons of garlic powder. And a teaspoon of ginger. Right, Tobin? Hi. You chewing that teeth? Tobin has, uh, it's almost a tubin. Tobin has two teeth in now. Why'd you do it, Tobin? Why'd you do it? Okay, I'm gonna throw in the bay leaves while I'm here. That was only half a one. Tobin, you're whispering, I hear you. And we're pouring in about six cups of chicken stock. Talking to the kitty? Remember to plug in the slow cooker. Okay, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using liquid aminos. There's also a tablespoon of sesame oil. I have to run down to my basement pantry to get that. So you will not see me doing that at this moment. But that is all we need to get this lemon sesame chicken with wild rice this go round soup going very frugal recipe on a budget you can use uh, chicken thighs or whatever whatever chicken pieces you have available to get it going and a lot of the items that you would buy to do this recipe um, oh yes i still need to chop an onion uh -huh. um, you can multi-purpose and use for many other recipes as well so you get more bang for your buck like i got plenty of celery and onions and carrots left to do many other things. So here we go. This is what it looks like before I am putting the lid on it. I'm going to cook it on high for a few hours. We will do the rice at some point and it's all going to work out great in the end. Alrighty, so I am back. I just turned in the uh, lemon juice and the sesame oil that I needed that I had to run it. So there we go. Lid back on and happy kids in the background. Alrighty, so next up we are doing large family style chicken spaghetti in the slow cooker. So let's start dumping all these ingredients in. This one I'll get letters about. There's there's all kinds of ingredients in this. Uh, let's look. Diced tomatoes. Okay, yes, there's cream of mushroom soup and you can also do homemade. We're going to cook our spaghetti separately a little later on. And something I don't use too much, but it is oh so good when I use it to Velveeta and some cream cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so first off, and I am using my 10-quart slow cooker for this because this is, again, a large size recipe. But we are going to mix in our cream mushroom soup and the, uh, basically the Rotel there tomatoes. Also, Tobin likes it, the um, onion powder and garlic powder. And you can watch me, the view, over my dirty dish. Thank you to Nexium 24 Hour for sponsoring today's video. Hey friends, Future Jay Morrell here. A whole lot of chicken and a whole lot of slow cookers. We will get back to that in a second. I had shared with you that today's video is sponsored by Nexium 24 Hour. With Nexium 24 Hour, just one pill a day protects you from heartburn, for 24 hours. One pill a day gives you 24 hours of heartburn protection. Proactively treating your heartburn helps you live a full-hearted life. And believe me, heartburn is awful. Believe me, I have had it. We don't want it.
With Nexium 24 hour, just one pill a day stops heartburn at its source, thankfully. And remember that Nexium 24 hour is doctor's number one choice to manage their own frequent heartburn. Shop Nexium 24 hour by clicking the first link in the description below. And so with the chicken, you can throw the full chicken breast in and shred them later. But again, this recipe is definitely one that grows. So I'm just taking a few minutes to uh, slice down and cube up the chicken before it goes in the slow cooker. One less thing we have to fool with later. Okay, next we're gonna jump jump in. Yeah, jump in or dump in our chicken. There we go, rinsing off a spoon. Same one I used to stir the soup. So that is four pounds of chicken. Okay, and then over the top. I'm gonna plop in the cubed up Velveeta and cream cheese. We'll let that one cook. Alrighty, and here's what it looks like. Now the lid is going down. I know I have four pounds sitting here, but a little later we will cook two pounds of this spaghetti to go with that chicken spaghetti. So the next thing, I've got three slow cookers up here totally available, two are in use. So I guess not totally available at this moment. Be in use, we're doing it, right? We've got four recipes to do. I have one of the three slow cookers. Oh my goodness, I am so glad that you have been here a while and you are used to these narratives on my channel. So 
third slow cooker is ready to go. I think the recipe I am going to put in that is a variation of white chicken chili. I've got a couple different recipes for it. Um, with this one, you usually use four to six cups of pre-cooked chicken. I am going to cook this for longer and I'm using raw chicken because I don't have any chicken already cooked. That'll be okay. When you see what I'm about to do, throwing raw chicken in the slow cooker, it's fine to do it that way. You just have to cook it longer, okay? Like where my recipe over on the blog for this says um, cook it on high for two hours or low for four hours. That's if your chicken's already cooked, as the recipe shows. We're gonna throw our chicken, some chicken broth, more onion, more celery, garlic, um, some salsa verde, various beans like pinto beans, rinsed and drained, some cumin, oregano, red pepper, black pepper. Uh, then towards the end, we can also stir in some cheese. So let's get all this dumped in. Okay, so I got my chicken in there. And then next we've got some more celery and onion. Let's see, can I open a jar? <laughs> Travis opening it for me. Okay. I'm going to take my jars to a strong teen man. Okay, I am back. Okay, four cups of broth. And there you can look at my dirty sink for a minute. I can go to pour my beans in a colander. Just think in the new baby kitchen we will have two sinks, which helps for all these things going on. Stay over there, things. I know you just wanted to have a you have to look at my dirty sink, huh? Yes, we took the head off of this faucet. The water pressure was going down, 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 and it just needs cleaned out, I guess. Um, you get water this way with it all for now, and new faucets are coming. Okay, so of course the white chicken chili, we are just filling this slow cooker up. This recipe would do better in an eight quart or 10 quart slow cooker. This is one of the seven quarts, I believe. But we got everything covered. We got it on high. It's gonna roll like this for several hours. We don't have to add anything else to it. We just need it to cook and like it, so. There we go, white chicken chili. Okay, also our lemon, sesame, chicken, and rice, wild rice soup should be getting done here within the next hour or so. I'm gonna go ahead and do this wild rice in the slow cooker now. Uh, are you on team rinse rice or does it not matter? Everybody has different thoughts about it. It's kind of just like washing chicken. So this evening I will be on Team, rinse your rice. And I'm going to add in four cups, it's two cups of rice. We'll do four cups of chicken broth. It's nice to cook your rice with broth when you have it. 
there we go and so for the rice um it says it'll be it's not showing me now but it did it a minute ago shows it'll be 12 minutes but it's got to build up pressure and release pressure so might even be 30 minutes or so but we don't have to babysit rice and that's what i love the instant pot for i'm just hunting down these little chicken thighs i'm gonna go ahead and fork them and get them all shredded up the carrots are not done in here i can tell but sorry so one thing you can do is don't take your lid off your slow cookers when they're cooking don't do what i do come on it's kind of like i'm fishing well, I feel like there's another chicken thigh in there, but oh well, and I was wrong. The carrots are done. So when the rice is done here, we can finish putting this recipe together. Okay, I shall leave it alone now. But look what mistake I almost, I almost made. I almost did this. So I was just wiping up the counters, tidying up a bit. I'm going to go get a shower. My eye caught the fact that I had my can opener plugged in because I had unplugged this slow cooker a few minutes ago and we were rinsing beans. Mm -hmm. I almost did that um, because I had two of the cans that didn't have the pop top. White chicken chili, you are saved because you are destined for a good home. Alrighty, mama got a shower, fresh towel on my head. So we are gonna get this rice. Sure, it's long then. There we go. We'll push them all close up to each other. Daniel's out here eating some applesauce. Should we open that lid, honey? Yeah. Okay, bring it on over to me. I can get it right here. Applesauce. Yeah. Yum, yum. Well, let's see. Can I get it? There you go, honey. Thank you. Don't want to forget to turn my instant pot off. I can take the bay leaves out now. One more little piece in here. There we are. You're yeah, just an applesauce mach seat machine, aren't you? Yeah. With the little eggs in it. And mm -hmm. apple, but not, but nerve But when I finished, but I ate all of them. Mm -hmm. that we had. And when I finish that one, there's only strawberry ones. Mm -hmm. I don't like the strawberry You don't like the strawberry flavored ones? We've got some cinnamon and regular applesauce flavors too. Here is an example bowl of this wonderful chicken and now wild rice soup. I mean, you could use white rice or jasmine rice or brown rice or any rice that you want. Uh, but this, this is what it looks like served up. So this slow cooker full, I am saving this soup for my family. We have more snow a coming. And so this will just be for some folks meals. Whoever wants to heat up a bowl of soup, I know I will definitely be having that. Uh, now I'm going to get this transferred to another container and get the slow cooker chicken and dumplings going yay Another day, another slow cooker meal, another noise of a herd of children in the distance. So we are getting the slow cooker chicken and dumplings going this morning. I... Wow, Tobin is excited about that sweet potato. Could not get this fourth one going last night. Getting it going today. Do have the other meals done and I'll show those to you as well.
Alrighty, and so here is what the fantastic chicken spaghetti looks like. This one, I'm going to put it in a Rubbermaid container, and this is going to another local family. Also, a bag of salad and some dessert and a jug of iced tea, and that is being dropped off to them. But here's a, a sample bowl for YouTube purposes to show you how it turned out. Let's see. Let's get the fork in here, and I'll show you the noodles and the cheese and all the yumminess and uh, how how well can my left hand lift this up anyway definitely comfort food yay alrighty and then here is how the white chicken chili looks this bowl is going this bowl that whole slow cooker full is going to another family also with some side items that we are going to drop off but here you go sample bowl turned out well yay Alrighty, so now the chicken and dumplings, well the chicken and the, the gravy mix of the piece, it's all done. So I'm going to chop up the biscuits just in little bite-sized pieces, get them in the slow cooker, press them down a little bit. Anyway, let those cook a little bit to make the dumplings really easy if you use pre-made biscuit dough or you can use homemade biscuit dough from your freezer. Okay, everybody, get ready. I'm getting ready to pop these biscuits. So here's how the slow cooker chicken and uh, dumpling gravy is looking right now. And now we will get the biscuits mixed in. They only need to sit about 30 minutes or so after that. Alrighty, so this slow cooker chicken and dumplings, it went on for about 30 more minutes or so. And I have actually unplugged my slow cooker. So now we've got all the, the dumplings on the top. And I'm just going to stir them around. Break them up a little bit. We are waiting for our second snowstorm for this week to start. Uh, supposed to get going here, let's see, time check all within the next hour or so. So that is exciting, and chicken and dumplings is what we, we will be eating tonight. Um, already, that fantastic lemon sesame chicken and wild rice soup that I made yesterday, it's almost gone. It's a big favorite. Several of us had it for lunch today. I had three bowls last evening while I was filming. That's how good it is. Uh, anyway, so this will be dinner tonight with some carrot sticks and other veggies on the side. And then the slow cooker chicken spaghetti and the slow cooker white chicken chili that I already shared with you. As I mentioned, those meals are going out to some other families. That's actually what we're going to do real quick here before, before snow time really hits. That's our afternoon goal is to get those dropped off. So this is what a bowl of the slow cooker chicken and dumplings looks like when it's dished out. Now, in a perfect world, I would have loved to have used a frozen bag of the peas, corn, and carrots, or at least peas and carrots, but I had a, what was it, a 32 ounce bag of peas, and I was like, this is it, peas, this is your destiny. So we're just having peas in this uh, slow cooker chicken and dumplings, and that'll be okay. So remember, friends, all of these four chicken meals for the crock pot are super frugal and you can stretch them around in different ways. I used a lot of boneless skinless chicken breast. I did chicken thighs in one of the recipes. You can use whatever chicken you have on hand. You can also get a rotisserie chicken. Usually you can get those for like $5 at Costco. Pick the chicken down off of those and use those in many of these slow cooker meals. The ingredients such as a bag of carrots, some celery, and some onions were used in several of these recipes. All of these 
large family meals on a budget recipes you can tweak to make them your own as i mentioned you can do a homemade cream of mushroom soup or a homemade cream of chicken soup you can also add more onion to several of these recipes or just leave the onion out again it's your personal preference the white chicken chili usually calls for two or three jalapenos chopped up i just totally left that out this time i also did not chop an onion to go into our slow cooker chicken and dumplings but you can do that for your personal preference mine was just tired mom tired mom. I'm, I'm not cutting it wasn't starting today chopping an onion no i wasn't be sure to let me know down in the comments what are some new slow cooker dinners that you have tried so far in 2022 what are some of your favorites and what are some other ones i should video and try as well also go ahead and click here for many more large family meals on a budget and i'll have even more videos coming out for you very soon bye bye thank you to nexium 24 hour for sponsoring today's video